What is going on today guys and welcome back to DC Unplugged and today we're actually going to go through the basic settings and the P settings for the Nami Bernie 2 and the Bernie 2 Max. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab his and roll that intro and uh, come a little closer and we'll walk through those basic settings and what they mean. <laughs> Okay, so to access your P settings, you'll need to double press the mode button, which you'll see here. I do apologize for this, guys. Um, I didn't want to get the glare. You can just see it there. I've got quite a fair bit of glare, so I've tried to use this just to get the glare out of the way for us. Um, so if you just double click the mode button, which is just which is the M on the very right hand side lower button, this is a little M. So now we've double tapped that mode button twice. You can see that just there. We're now in P1. Now P1 is to actually calibrate the E mode, D mode, uh, C mode, and X mode on your Nami Bernie 2 Max. And this will be the same for your Nami Bernie 2 as well. So uh, we're not gonna worry about that one because that's going into the advanced settings which will be covered in another video. So what we wanna do is we wanna click up to P2. So P2 is your dashboard brightness. So obviously five has been the brightest. So if we actually go into that, just press mode. Now that bottom light is now flashing at five. If we minus that, you'll see the screen brightness will get dull. But for me, I like mine at five. So we're just gonna click M and that's now saved that. Now, if we move up to base, if we move up to now our P3 setting, that is for our timer so if we're not using the scooter it will time down and that's basically not 30 seconds that is actually in minutes so for me i am actually going to change that get that guy flashing i'll uh, bring it down to let's say five minutes i reckon maybe even one minute let's go i don't know. yeah i mean i'll nah, we'll go five minutes because sometimes lights take a little while so press that in five now P4 is units of measurement, so zero being kilometers per hour. And if you click it into one, which I'll show you here, if you click it into one, that's gonna now display the speed in miles per hour. So for me, we're in uh, Queensland, Australia. So we measure things in kilometers an hour. So I'll leave it like that. P5 is your battery voltage. Now. I recommend not touching this one. There are different settings uh, for it. It can handle, obviously the display can handle 48 volt, 52 volt, a 60 volt system and a 72 volt, which is obviously what we've got here. Don't touch that, we'll move on. P6 is your parameter magnet. So the magnets within inside the wheel itself. Now I would really highly suggest you do not touch this setting at all because this is preset to the motors that is actually set in the NAMI itself. So we'll probably leave that one. P7, P7 is your easy start or so basically P7 is basically when you want to um, have an instant acceleration. So when you pull the, you tap that throttle when you go straight forward, it'll just take off straight away. If I turn this into one, I'll have to push the scooter to have it to start. So it'll be like a, yeah, you have to push to start before the accelerator will actually work. So you can have a full chat, but it won't go anywhere. This is a setting for um, people that aren't really experienced with the NAMIs yet. That's a pretty good uh, setting to put it on. All right, moving on. So P8 is actually your tire size. So it's an 11 inch tire. We'll leave that. That's both for the NAMI Bernie 2 and the NAMI Bernie 2 Max. They're both the same. So we don't really need to touch those settings at all. Moving up, we've got P9. Now, this is actually your cruise control. So I obviously like my cruise control, so I have turned, I put it into one, so I've activated cruise control. So if we actually back out of this menu, you'll see just up there in the left-hand top corner, you have the little uh, uh, segment there. Now, when you're driving along to activate the cruise control, you press minus down on your pad and that will actually activate it at whatever speed you like it at. So being at 25 kilometers an hour, we can set that and uh, you can press up or down on the D-pad there to increase your speed or slow it down. 
So now entering into the P10 setting, you would see on your number you have like these little curvatures up the top there. That is to actually tell you your maximum current or efficiency in your controller and uh, P11. So this is to um, display the instant or instantaneous uh, efficiency of the controller, which is usually displayed up here on like a little um, two barred kind of thing up on the main dashboard and your maximum controller current. So this is maximum controller current, P11 is maximum controller current. So this scooter has the 50, um, because this is the max, this has got a 50 amp out of controller. So that is displayed in there. So we're not gonna touch that one either because we really don't need to. P10 is, uh, P, sorry, P12 is your over, so if the scooter gets too hot, the motors, this is the um, temperature in which it will automatically cut you down to 85%. So I'd probably leave this one alone as well, um, just because that is what's set from NAMI, and it is uh, basically one of your uh, protections against the scooter from overheating or any anything bad happening. So I'd really, uh, I'd really discourage anyone from changing that setting whatsoever as it will probably void something or... So that's set to 110 degrees, so it is in degrees. Um, so really wouldn't touch that one. Um, moving on, we've got P13. Now P13, P13 is the settings. So P13 is just settings for when the percentage of battery, so when you get down to your lowest battery settings, so this is obviously 25% in percentage. So when you have your little voltage meter, we'll see if we can get up to the main dash there. Uh, there it is up the top there. I'm currently displaying 100%. I'm not too sure if that'll come up on the on the display at the moment because uh, the camera's not the best, but we're working with what we've got. So that's saying 100% at the moment. If that was to drop down to 25%, it'll automatically put us into E mode. So if I was in any other mode, it would automatically chuck us into E mode, which is our eco mode, and it'll automatically lock us in that. Now, if you set this, parameter to, if you set this parameter to the 12 or the 25, you cannot go back into the settings. So if you've reached 25 and you've been locked in E mode, you can't go into the P settings and change this. The only time you'll be able to change this setting is once you've actually recharged the battery and you can, um, then you can allow it and actually go and access this and change it. While riding though, it will not allow you to change this until you have fully charged the scooter again. All right, now P14. Now this one I'm not gonna go into, but P14 is to set your um, to set your code for your scooter. These scooters do not come with a key. So I highly suggest you put in a manual key. So then that way you do not get your scooter stolen. This is very easy. It's a four pin key. Um, when they're brand new, they are usually zeros, and once you've gone into that, you can then go up, and then you can change the um, you can change the uh, code to whatever you desire. So for me, I won't show you mine, but that is uh, the combination, and you just use the up and down arrows, and you press M to go across and change your um, to go through to unlock the scooter. So this is accessed by if I was to turn the scooter off. So now the scooter is now off. If I was to power this back on, it'll ask me for that pin to fulfill that out, and then it will turn the scooter on. So if I quickly put my pin in without you showing it, so I'll just put the pin in, and I'll show you what it does straight after. So now we've got it going on, and it'll start straight up once we put our pin in. So that is pretty cool. So that is it for today, guys. This is just the, the basic. So this is, now we'll get into the, obviously the more advanced features in another video, which will be coming up very soon. But this is the basic rundown of the basic settings in the NAMI Bernie 2 and Bernie 2 Max. So definitely if that helped you out guys, give us a thumbs up down low um, just to obviously inform you about those P settings and what their functions are and what to and to not to do. Obviously the magnets and the power settings I really recommend you do not touch at all um, as that is required for the little onboard computer to do its thing within the scooter, so I'd really highly suggest not touching those settings. Obviously, the other ones go for gold um, on some parts. <laughs> uh, but yeah, in the next video, we'll get into the advanced settings. Now, that is going to be another video, but in this video, we're just gonna cover the basics. So, I hope that really helped out a lot of you guys with our NAMIs and or are new or thinking about 
purchasing NAMIs. And I really hope that helped you along just to get a rough idea of how to set up your NAMI when you get your NAMI um, or if you already have your NAMI. So I really hope that helped you out guys. And like always, wear a helmet guys, stay safe out there and we'll see you in the next video. Oh, such a rookie mistake, almost. So as well as that guys, go up there, like and subscribe. And if you're definitely keen about more content with these and any other scooters you've previously seen on the channel, definitely give us a like and subscribe because there's going to be more content coming out for obviously electric scooters, as well as don't forget the 500 subscriber cruise, which will be coming up in Brisbane CBD area. Still trying to get onto that. But anyway, guys, stay safe out there, wear a helmet, and um, we'll see you all in the next one. Cheers.